In this video, I will help you find your viral editing style by looking at three of the top creators from TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. On TikTok, we have Ali Abdal with over 250,000 followers. And on Instagram, we have Tom Noski with 350,000 followers. On YouTube, we have Thomas Frank with over 3 million subscribers across his channels. And today, we're going to break down some of the many reasons these creators are successful online with their content. With each creator, we're going to pick two things they do with their editing that make them stand out. Teaching on social media can be a very lucrative career. These creators are evidence of that. This is now how we make this 5 million a year. So last month we did 145K. In the last 12 months, my business as a content creator has made over half a million dollars. But it starts with having success with your original content, whether short form or on YouTube. So if you're tired of looking at your analytics and not seeing a lot of progress, don't keep doing the same thing. Listen closely to the tips in this video and you can drastically improve the quality of your content. I'm George with Video Loadout. I'm a professional video editor who has helped clients get millions of views on all three of these platforms. And on this channel, I help teach you how to edit better content for you to have success online. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to get notified for more helpful content. All right, let's start with our first creator. Here's two things to make better TikTok videos by learning from Ali Abdal's content. Ali Abdal's editing style on TikTok is primarily animations put over a talking head performance. It's gonna be a lot of paper animations that are pretty advanced. Also taking the time to animate text, to highlight titles, to add little details, zoom into his talking head footage when appropriate, and to always transition to different scenes in a creative way. Now, don't worry if this seems too advanced for you. I have an easier option. So how can we make this type of content? All right, the first technique is title graphics. In the hook of your short form content, when someone's scrolling through TikTok, they're gonna instantly see what this video is about. They're also gonna see a production quality that's high enough to kind of represent an authority in the educational space. Now, how we can take this technique and use it for ourselves, but maybe on a more manageable scale, is we're gonna animate in text with what the video is about, the topic of the video, and we're gonna add an image or graphic that is relevant to that topic. It could just be a PNG, it could be an emoji, it could be really simple, but it does make a difference. And my experience doing this with clients is it really finds your audience online. Working with a personal training company, we were able to get millions of views, we were able to get thousands of followers and really find our community and niche by identifying what the video is really early. So take the time to animate your text, animate a graphic or an image. We have an easy to use, no background retention pack where you could add some really trendy paper animations, and you're already gonna see significant progress with a very high quality intro. Try it out. Second tip, which is probably one of my favorites, it could help explode your channel, and it's one of the easiest. It's to make the structure of your video a list. When in doubt, just think about list. Everything is a listicle. This is such an easy way to make quality content. Automatically structures the video for you. So when you're first starting out, get good at list videos. It's the easiest and most useful type of video to share with your audience. People struggle with like the blank Google document of how do I make a video? What do I make a video about? This simplifies it in one of the most effective formats online. So master this video format first and then start building other types of content. A lot of Ali Abdal's content, they're just lists. And just because it's simple doesn't mean it's not effective, obviously. So if you think you're sharing valuable information online, but nobody's taking the time to watch it, try and structuring your video with a list and see the results. I have a whole video of how to make videos like Ali Abdal in much more detail. Check it out now or at the end of the video if you're interested. All right, the next creator on Instagram is Tom Noski. I personally really like this creator. Not only does he share how to become a full-time creator, but the personal experience that he shares of his journey of doing that is really what sets him apart. As for his style of content, he's doing a lot of talking to the camera, educational, inspirational content with relevant and stylized graphics cut in. A lot of people think content is too complicated, but this is a really simple structure to make great content and is a style of content you could just repeat, repeat, and repeat. A lot of viewers actually wanna watch simple content, but our definitions are kind of different. As somebody who wants to post, they just wanna record a talking head footage, post that online, and go viral. Very few times can that actually happen. The problem is, is that static video is boring. So how do you keep it simple with your educational content while also hooking your audience and keeping them engaged for the entirety of the video? These techniques are gonna help you fix that problem. First technique, animated text intro. A simple yet effective technique. We're gonna stylize the text we have in the intro of our video and put that on top of our high quality setup. And for a high quality setup, you probably just want a big soft light and whatever else you can manage to put behind you. And after that, if you stylize and add some text over your video, your short form content or YouTube, 
already you're gonna look like somebody people can trust about whatever you're teaching online. That way we hit our two goals of hooking our audience and also gaining trust with our brand. Second tip, which is one of my favorites of the whole video, is gonna be a cinematic B-roll library. Now, if your brand isn't cinematic, it could just be a B-roll library, but this is one of the most helpful things as you create content online. And over a couple of videos, you film B-roll specifically for those videos, have a library in your computer of those B-roll clips that way you have a bunch of footage of you doing tasks relevant to your brand or niche. For instance, as a professional video editor and videographer, I have B-roll of me filming and editing. And to be honest, that kind of feels like I have 20% of the video already done. Tom's brand is really stylized, really cinematic, but Ali Abdal, Thomas Frank, they also use B-roll and it's sometimes not as stylized. Sometimes it's just shot in an iPhone, but that works good as well. As long as it's relevant to what you're talking about, that's going to be effective B-roll. All right, last one. Next up on YouTube, we have Thomas Frank, a creator that if you teach anything online, I recommend watching. He has a refined system for video editing that really helps increase watch time. I have a whole video how to edit like him right here, but let's get into two tips that'll help you make better content. Animate, don't cut. Whether it's a screen recording, a title card, try adding some motion by animating those overlays or graphics in your video or over your video instead of just having them pop up on the screen. This movement is more engaging gives your video a higher quality. And if you're staring at a screen recording for a long time, be sure to zoom in, scroll, highlight, add some movement and focus to whatever you're teaching, but there's something that's constantly happening. Which brings me to my next tip, cut graphic or B-roll every 20 seconds. Like I was saying, even if your video is very helpful, it needs to be entertaining. You have to keep the viewer engaged or people are gonna swipe or click away. Some YouTubers use a retention trick to travel around a different area, constantly cut into different scenes and keep the viewer engaged. I personally like that Thomas Frank has a way to do that while comfortably sitting at a desk. And that's why you avoid static video. Scale in for a close up, cut to B-roll, cut to stock footage. We wanna add motion and direct the viewer's focus and attention to keep them engaged. If you guys need anything specific help for short form content or long form content, just drop a comment and I'll answer it with a comment or a video. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe for more content that's gonna help you become a full-time creator, prove your business by making better content. More videos on the way. Thanks for watching. Cheers.